Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. We are in Daff right now in Swindon, Dorgan. That's not my joke. Uh, he's had a six week check. So um, yeah, we've had to come to Daff this morning. Um, there's no one in the office right now. So I thought I'd come and find my truck, see where it is. And there it is, look, that's the one we're taking. Now, um, it's a good job I did come and have a little look to see where it was because there's actually not one, but two trucks in the way. So when I go pick up the keys in a minute, I can give them the registration uh, off those two trucks and they can move them while I'm doing my daily checks. I'll just show you the truck. So obviously four axles and uh, tip of body on the back. That's the truck. We um, gonna go wait outside the office and hopefully someone's gonna be here soon so I can get the keys and crack on because I've got a busy day planned today. Uh, people on the same job as me are already leaving our yard to go do the work. So yeah, I'm probably gonna be a good hour behind them. We will see, we will see. But yeah, let's um, let's get the keys and then we can do our daily checks and crack on. See you in a bit. Okay, so um, I just walked over to the thing again and I just noticed that um, in the window there's a, a sign that says they're not open until seven o'clock. And uh, yeah, it's uh, six six thirty right now, so we've got half an hour waiting. So I thought what I'd do is uh, I put, I'm going to do a manual entry to so I start at half six, and I start doing a daily walk around check just around the outside of the vehicle without the engine running, uh, like check the tyres and wish springs and leaf springs. That's what I meant. Uh, just make sure fuel caps are all there and everything like that. Just just yeah, have a quick quick look, and then um, I'll do a manual entry and. Uh, check again uh, later. Got no gloves on me, that's the problem. Actually, I might have some gloves in my bag. I think I do. Right, I'm gonna put you here and uh, do a daily check. How can I compare thee when no one ever, ever could come close? Look around, but I can't see. That is usually just how it goes. Brought a new horizon. Opened up our doors to something more. Spun me round and you shook me. Me tainted to the core. So tell me, tell me, tell me what to do. When nothing, nothing, no one ever comes close to you. Close to you. For the longest time, I've been trying to find. Some okay, so I've done a quick walk around check. Uh, nothing really uh, too much to say other than. The lens cover has been replaced because it had a, had a crack up here. I don't know if you can quite see. Just about here it had a crack. Um, uh, a little, little bit was like missing, a bit of a chunk. I uh, don't know how it come off uh, or broke, but it did. Um, it was like that uh, when I brought it in and it's been fixed now, so that's been done. Um, this tire here is legal. Um, it's more than a millimetre, much more than a millimetre, but it is quite low. Uh, compared to the other tyres, so that's something I need to keep an eye on. I thought I'd just show you this. So that red alarm there is actually the alarm that beeps uh, when I'm fully loaded. When I got the body up, um, it's that alarm that goes off outside that lets the digger driver know that, uh, that I'm fully loaded. Oh, near a truck. We got movement. <laughs> Um, but yeah, now I've gone around the truck and uh, everything seems all right so far. Obviously, it's not finished yet. I'll have to go around again and check all the lights are working. Still, still need to engage the PTO, lift the body up, make sure that's all working, uh, the tail lock and all that. Uh, and then check the engine, oil, check the horn, check the wipers. There's a load, loads to check still. So, um, yeah, so need to check all that. Right, so. It's 20 to 7 now, so we just we just spent 10 minutes going around the truck. Um, like I said, check the lights and that when uh, when I get the keys. Let me just check, it's not actually open, is it? Nah, nah. It is locked, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, get the keys for it, and then I need uh, these two vehicles moving. In fact, actually, in fact, actually, I might need a third one moving because the one that's just turned up might be in the way now. Yeah, might be. We'll see, he might, he might just be dropping it off. <sighs> but yeah, no, today, today we've got uh, nine loads planned um, to pick up from Andover and take to Thruxton. Uh, topsoil is what we're picking up. 
I put a post about it the other day saying we're moving Amanda Hill, like a, a mountain, not a mountain, um, topsoil grass hill thing. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Right, I'll see you when I've got the keys and uh, we can continue doing some more checks. Okay, we are done. Daily checks are done. I'm just going to send it off now. Send. Excellent. All our daily checks are done on an app on your phone, so it's quite, quite handy. Just going to put that in my pocket. Sorry if there's any crackle. Hopefully it's stopped. Excellent. Let's turn those annoying hazards off. So annoying. Oh, we're good to go. So, a couple of things have just happened that I want to talk about real quickly. <laughs> One of which is that there was uh, a lorry in front of me, or pretty much in front of me, and uh, <laughs> this driver come in and uh, after me, I should point out, <laughs> and um, went straight away. <laughs> like, I don't think he did a daily check. His card must have been in for like two, three minutes. And then I think he went out and had a look at the front of the truck and then that was it, got back in again and went. And there's no way he did a full check. He didn't like look at the tires or anything like that. Or, uh, yeah, a bit naughty really. And uh, I then just now, after he went, one of the, um, the drivers that work there, like the, the mechanics or whatever, um, sort of honked his horn and was looking at me like he wanted me to move. <laughs> so I just stood there, I was like, I ain't moving. I got a two fifteen minute day to eject me. So um, yeah, he just waited there and waited there and waited there. And then he got out and I think he went to come and like speak to me and ask me to move. And then he realized there was actually a space next to me. So he just parked there. But you know, you can't just expect someone to move when they're doing their daily checks in the morning. That's the way I see it anyway. Right, so yeah, time is uh, <laughs> it's nearly quarter past seven and like, should really be at the job by now, maybe half seven at the job by now. So we're so behind. I don't think I'm gonna get, I got them down for nine loads. So I don't think I'm gonna be doing nine. We're, we'll see, I might do. Especially if the others do like 10 and I can then do my nine. We're going left, yeah. So yeah, we we'll just have to we'll just have to see on that one. But yeah, first thing we need to do is go back to the yard and get fuel because we've got less than half a tank. And uh, this is I mean, what I'm doing today is what I was doing Friday. And if I got less than half a tank now, that means I use more than half a tank on Friday. So I, I definitely need to go back to the yard and get fuel. So that's going to be put me back even more. And then it's a good good hour or so before we get there. Then so. Normally you want to be at the site by, by 8 o'clock. I don't think we're going to be there like until half 8. But we, we'll see on that one. Right, let's head to the yard, let's get some fuel and then I'll see you in a bit. Tell me, tell me what to do nothing, nothing, no one ever comes close to you Close to you For the longest time I've been trying to find someone like you Sun is out and uh, we're just about to head into Andover now. This is where we're picking it up from. There's a site just on the right hand side of us. So uh, we need to go right at this roundabout. That's uh, a nice little daft warning popping up there on the uh, old dashboard. Even though we've taken it to daft loads of times. When I first started, I, take, I took it to daft many, many times and they keep saying it's fixed and it keeps popping up. There's a build base down there on the left I used to deliver to when we were on the banks. But yeah, the, the alarms always go off and we keep taking it to DAF and they keep going back up again. Ugh. I was thinking maybe uh, one video I might do a commentary drive, like just tell you all what I'm thinking, what I'm looking at. Because it's something that 
uh, I do all the time in my head. I'm always thinking, what's that coming up? Where's that? What's that sign say? And I just think sometimes it'd be a good idea to show that. For example, there's a cyclist down there on the left. Not even on my road, but I just take notice of it. So maybe, maybe I'll do a commentary drive one day. Um, something I thought about doing in the past. Right, we want to turn right here. Um, I'm going to assume that we are going to the same place on the site that we were in. It was Thursday I was last here, not Friday. So it might have changed. Come down here. I don't think there's as many of us on it today as well. I think Thursday there was like maybe eight of us on it. Whereas today I think there's only five. We shall see. I've seen two of them go out that way. So there could be about three trucks in here, maybe. We'll have to see. But considering there's a lockdown, I, I did think to myself that there's quite a few members of staff in today, like uh, on the site. Not today, uh, Thursday, sorry. There's a lot of roofers about. You might want to hurry up, make a move, because there's a truck coming. Right. Yeah, Thursday, I thought there was quite a few people about on site. I wonder how busy it is today. Busy there on the left. There's a lot of machine drivers around. Um, to be honest with you, they were just getting in the way on Thursday. Uh, you want to go down there? Okay, I'll turn right. Where's he going? You just got to be careful on site because. They don't always have indicators, so you don't know where they're going. But there was one of these uh, teleanders that lifted something up onto one of these roofs the other day and was just like chilling out on the road. And I was looking at it and waiting for the thumbs up because the, it's the thumbs up you've got to wait for before you do anything. Uh, a lot of sites say wait for the thumbs up. Basically what he's doing now, look, so he's, he's putting something up there. I don't want to drive behind him until I get a thumbs up. Until he acknowledges that he's seen me. Because if he reverses, it's me, it's going to get done. Right, he just gave me the thumbs up. So he's aware I'm there. I, I, I hate going past vehicles. I have seen people crash. And they're not like serious accidents or anything. No one's ever got hurt from them, but it's just a nuisance. It's something you don't really want happening to you so yeah well I see the digger on the left so it looks like it is on the same place and I don't think anyone's in here either nope so we'll be getting loaded straight away that's what we do we we'll just do a big circle or line up on the right I'm assuming we're going there yeah he's taking it away in sections Bloody bumpy. So yeah, he wants me on the on the side of him by the looks of it. So we just drive down here and then reverse back. Ugh. And all this will be taken away by the looks of it. There we go, that's where he wants me. So, just need to engage the PTO, lift the body up a little bit. So now I know how much is going on. And then with regards to the paperwork, I just need to write down the time that we got here, 8.25.
825. There we go. And uh, I don't know if you can quite see on the dash cam, but over there, there's like a mound of dirt. There's like a bag on a stick. That's where we're putting the paperwork. So we haven't got any contact with the digger driver. So yes, maybe when we come back, uh, there might be some trucks waiting on getting loaded. So we might be able to get some footage of it being loaded. We'll have to see. Right, I need to write out some more tickets ready for the rest of the day because I've only got two or three printed out. See you in a bit. What name am I putting on paper up, mate? Right. We are loaded. Just need to self-sign the paperwork and put the paperwork in the, uh, the bag over here. And then I need to put the sheet on as well. So we're just going to stop here. CV has been going mental today, this morning anyway. Uh, right, so just going to sign it for him. And then we're departing 8.32 by the time we get back in the truck. Right, just need to put that in the bag. No, I did not get a postcard for my little trip there. <laughs> right. A couple more things we need to do. Get the rest of the paperwork sorted. Keep the pink slip separate. Put the sheet on. It's quite muddy out there. Considering it's quite dry out, well, I just stood, it was quite muddy, so I've got muddy feet now. Just gonna wait for that dumper to overtake and then we shall move. Have they fixed this bump out yet? Yeah, no, they haven't. Bloody big bump here, that. <laughs> Our wheels are spinning as well because of that mud. It's quite slippery there. Wet and slippery. So he asks, this is the first load for us. Uh, we've only got to take it 15 minutes away or so to our Fruxton branch uh, and then tip it um, and then head straight back again. So it's only like, by the time you get loaded and tips, about 45 minutes turn around. Um, maybe an hour maximum, depends if there's many people waiting to get loaded because um, we were there for about 5-10 minutes waiting to be loaded so if you've got other trucks waiting to be loaded as well you could be there waiting 20 minutes, do you know what I mean? Or more. So that's why we always put down the waiting times. What's this van doing? Dumper to the left, van to the right. Where's everyone going? No indication from the van. Dumpers stay in there. And the car's moving over for me. Excellente. Yeah. So I think so I think some people forget that on lot on a lot of vehicles there is this like magic stick on the steering wheel. Well, not necessarily the steering wheel, but on the steering wheel column there's this like this this stick. And if you lift it up or you push it down lights flash on the outside which tells people where you're going <laughs> and not a lot of people know that don't know what the uh, the guys are talking about with group chat my group chat my whatsapp group chat with the guys uh like kev scott martin and jay is going nuts right now <laughs> they're obviously having a little uh, little conversation my watch is telling me that uh, scott's just left a three second voice message Right, let's go get this tipped off and then come back. And uh, we're just on this for the rest of the day now. Just backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. 
you in a bit. Welcome to this one way ride. We're all on it. Got to, got to give it a go. All we got is hope. Don't you, don't you know? Wipe the floor of yesterday. You can change it anyway. And you're never alone, never alone. Doesn't matter what they say. Doesn't really matter what they say. Okay, so we're just coming off the A303 now. Gonna go tip our first load for the day. It's uh, quarter to nine now, so yeah, it don't take long to get here at all from uh, from where we're loading from. By the way, I'm not on the wrong side of the road. I know it looks like it. <laughs> we turn right here. Bow, bow, bow. Interesting fact. Sometimes it gets flooded under here. Don't know why, but it does. Can get flooded. Right, there might be uh, might be some muting on the um, video in a second because obviously we're going into a quarry. It could be a lot of chat. I don't know why I look right there because it, that rotates you onto the uh, A303. So in theory, you don't need to look right, but I just can't help but look right. <laughs> So firstly, we need to go onto the weigh bridge and get weighed so they know how much I'm bringing in. And then we'll, uh, we'll go and tip it. Morning, mate. I got a load of topsoil from Andover. Yeah, cheers mate, have a good day. Right. Yeah, there's a, there's an industrial estate down here. So um, our quarry's on the left and there's an industrial estate straight on down where um, other businesses work as well. So you could argue that this is a, a road that anyone can access and record on, so that's why I'm still recording. <laughs> Right, there is a bulldozer over there as well, so I might just need to make sure that I'm not in the bulldozer's way when I tip. Excellent. We will just wait here a second for, I was going to say for the dust to settle because it was quite dusty last time, but also I need to undo my sheet. So I'm going to undo that now before I move back. And the, um, the dozer, whatever you want to call it, blade, dozer, thing, we jig is waiting for me, so let's get back. Oh, by the way, big thanks to whoever told me that if I do that, goes into second gear. Second gear reverse. So I can go back a lot faster. Just got to take my glasses off to look at the screen because it's polarized. That would do, you can't go much further. Leave it as your body up. Uh. <laughs> Nearly done. There we go, that's all the way up. I know that, that sound is so annoying. It doesn't do it in any of the scanners, it just does it in the dafts. All the way up, it's, it's really annoying. Just want to see what the, uh, the sound is when I 
great. Yeah, it sounds like it's clear. Bow, bow, bow. Need a bin. Okay. So yeah, now we uh, go back and get another load. As simple as that. Just gotta make sure it's clear left and right, because like I said, a lot of vehicles are on this road. And lock the tailgate, there we go. <coughs> yeah, so it really is as simple as that. I. <laughs> I keep saying this job, this job is just so easy like you just someone loads you you go to other place and you tip it you're off so in that sense it's it, it's it's a lot easier you haven't got to get out of the cab as much but I think I'd rather would rather get out of the cab a lot a lot more to be honest with you this this top sole is all right because I've done I've already done it Thursday so I know it comes straight out but sometimes you get like really sticky mud so then you have to get out you have to scrape it so then you can close the tailboard um, but yeah, this, this this stuff's all right. So you, sometimes you have to get out, but not always. Not always. Right, anyway, we're gonna make our way back to uh, Andover uh, and then um, get loaded again with another load. See you in a bit. Ugh, sweepers, the bane of my life. <laughs> no, sweepers have a very critical role to do uh, in regards to site safety. Uh, they obviously clear up all the mess. But oh my God, do they slow you down. <laughs> I've had to follow him in all the way from the main road. So I would be getting loaded right now if I wasn't behind him. But you know, just taking a nice steady stroll. Come on. Anyway, this is load two we're gonna get now. Um, so let's get this one on and then uh, come back again. Where is he? What's he doing now? He's moving about. Just got to try and keep an eye on where he is because obviously that's where I got to position myself. He's still moving, so I don't know. He looks like a crab just moving from left to right like he is. <laughs> he was facing this way, <laughs> just moving to the side. Oh, I think he's just flattening it down, I think. That's what he looks like. Sooner or later, it'll be uh, more to the right. I think that's where he wants me. <laughs> he just looks like a crab, just going left to right. That's funny. Uh, right, PTO, let's lift that body up. Excellente. Right, we just need to put on the paperwork now. What time have we got here? 9.09. 909. Boom shakalaka. Right. See you in a bit. Took my head out of the sand. We're all in it better, better. Open your eyes, see the open sky. Don't you, don't you know? Shake whatever brings you down. All that ties you to the crown. Cause you're never alone, never alone. Doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't really matter what they do they go, Baby, let me breathe it now they go, they go. Breathe it now Doesn't matter where I go Heart's still open, can I close? They go, Baby, let me breathe it now Okay, you join me whilst getting loaded for our fourth run of the day. Fourth run. Ten thirty. Couldn't see what the time was then. <laughs> ten thirty, ten thirty, ten thirty. Excellent. Brilliant. Yeah, so we're on our fourth load for the today. For the today. Oh, that makes sense, doesn't it? Um, and I thought that everybody 
uh, out on this job with like uh, a run ahead of me. Um, but it turns out that I am the la I am literally the last one in, in the uh, in the line, if you so to speak. Um, but the guy that just got loaded is also just taking his fourth load, so I'm literally um, on schedule, which is good. I'm uh, I'm not actually a load behind at all. I'm on schedule, so happy days. The only thing is they've all had a 15 minute break this morning whereas I didn't so later on um, we'll probably find ourselves being then a load behind the first person because the next person coming is going to get their fifth load and we see them on the way out when they come in they're on their fifth and I'm leaving my fourth if that makes sense <laughs> it gets a bit complicated but basically what that means is I should have no problem at all doing, doing the nine scheduled runs so that's good that's good indeed so Let's get this on, then make our way back to Old Struxton, get this tipped off. I suspect we'll definitely get the fifth one on and uh, get that tipped back off. We, I don't know whether I'll get the sixth one or not before having a break, because uh, obviously got to have a break. Apparently the digger driver is going on break um, and there's no cover, so when he's on break, we have to have a break, basically. Or if I turn up here and he's on break, then I've got to have a break here, so... We'll cross that bridge when we get there. See you in a bit. Right, we're now here for our sixth load, number six. Not going too bad at all. Right, just got to put the weigher up a little bit. Excellent. Yeah, sixth load. Uh, once this is loaded, we are then going to, I think, go straight to brake. We're going to stop at Wayhill Services and have a break. If not, then I'll drive past Wayhill Services, get this tipped off, and then come back and stop at Wayhill Services on the other side. One or the other, I'm not sure yet, depends on driving time. Uh, and then I've got to get a 45 minute break in. So it's literally 12 o'clock now. Um, so, <laughs> so um, yeah, by the time we get there, it's probably going to be, well, by the time we finish our break, it's probably going to be about one o'clock, I expect. Not too shabby. And then it leaves us with seven, eight, nine, three more loads to do. And then we may even do an extra one. Uh, try and get that load bonus who knows but i am bothered either way so let's get this loaded and then crack on to a break right we're loaded just got to drop the paperwork off in the predetermined safe location well i mean i say i say safe location it's not really like it's safe in terms of contact with other people but uh it's just a bag <laughs> and uh the wind is blowing it well, it was earlier anyway oh hang on i need to do my sheet better not forget the sheet so yeah we're uh we've got a sick load on now and um we're gonna go and stop the services and then uh carry on with the day but I just don't know whether I'm going to stop at the services before I get this off or after I'll find out in a sec it takes about 15 minutes to uh, get to uh, where we're tipping Ugh. and the services is about five minutes away from where we're tipping so in other words it takes 10 minutes to get there to the services We've got 32 minutes drive time left uh, yeah, 10 minutes to get there, and then it'll be another 10 minutes before I get back there again. So I got. Yeah, so in theory, I could get this off and then have a break on the way back, in theory. Uh, I, yeah, I think I could. We'll, uh, we'll make that judgment call when we get there, when, once we actually get to the services, and, uh, and then see, see from there what's the, what driving time is looking like. Sorry, I'm, I'm not talking very clearly right now because I'm just concentrating on what's going on. Oh, mate, don't stop there. He slowed right down to look. Because he slowed down, I had to stop. Never mind. Right, um, yeah, let's get cracking and uh, I see when we're about to either have a break or get tipped. I'm not sure yet which one. See you in a bit. 
another load of topsoil. Right, so we decided to tip it. The other guys are actually all, all having their break in here, which they did last time as well. So, um, but I ain't stopping here because I got no food or drink. So, I'm going back to the services. We are on 17 minutes left of drive time. Not long. So we'll get this off and then uh, go to the services and have a 45 minute break. In we go. These are, uh, I think he's cleaning up the mud which is on the floor. Okay, let's get that sheet over. There we go. We're actually going up the hill. <laughs> so we're, we're lower down here and the, uh, the ass end sort of thing is higher up than the front of the truck. Can't really go any, uh, any further before you just start spinning. There we go. Yeah, we're good. Let's lower the body. Start making my way out. There's a, there's a lorry coming down that I can see already. I might just wait here for him to go past. Uh, now nah, we can make it. Loads of room. It might slow him down a little bit anyway, because you're not supposed to go too fast down here. 20 mile an hour speed limit. A lot of the vehicles fly down here. There's plenty wide enough for two vehicles, as long as you go nice and slow. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think he was happy. He come to a complete stop. <laughs> right, 16 minutes on the old uh, taco for the remaining driving time. 16 minutes and uh, we're about five minutes away from the uh, from the services so happy days okie dokie got 12 minutes on the clock now and uh, services are just popping up so plenty of time climbing that quite well um, that's six runs done yeah six runs done now so three more to go after our break um, yeah, so I'm just going to have a cheeky 45 minute break here. I could have an hour actually if I really wanted to. Um, as long as I get all my scheduled runs done and, and maybe another one. I'll just finish later, that's all. So, I might. Well, I'll probably just have 45, to be fair. I'm, I'm going to be at the back of the group anyway because they've only got to have half an hour, so... Yeah. But never mind. Right, let's pop into the services. Normally I'd have a lunchbox, but... Um, I didn't, I haven't got one today, so it's very quiet in there as always. Well, it's not always normally quiet. Just recently it's been quiet. There's an ATL truck there. Let's watch where he's going. I really miss class one work. <laughs> I'd quite happily do class one day work. But then I also quite, I do in a way miss the nights out as well, if I'm honest. Where are you going, Mr. ATL? Where are you going? You'll go in there, okay. I'll leave a gap as well. And go in this one. There we are, everyone's got a gap in between them. There we go. 10 minutes of driving time left. Yeah. 
time that quite well, I think. Put the steering wheel up, neutral, lights, and brake. Right, I'm gonna have a break, and I'll see you when we leave. Right, okay, brake is over. Just got to reverse out of here. No vehicles. In fact, we don't actually need to go back anymore. Look, we just go forward. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, brake is done. Uh, we've had a 45, driving time is reset. So, we're gonna go and uh, crack on now and get these other three runs done and then see what the time is and see if, uh, see if we've got time to do another one or not. I'm really hot, I might have to take this hoodie off in a minute. When I get to the, when I get to the place, I think I'm gonna take it off. <coughs> very, very, very hot. Right, anyway, let's get going. Let's see you in a bit. Right, okay, we are back on site and uh, we've literally just passed um, the guy we were behind, so perhaps he also needed a 45, I don't know. But I thought that he would be tipping where we are tipping right now. But no, he's just leaving, so I'm actually right behind him still, so that's good. Ugh. Just gotta go around here. Right, where does he want me? So every time we come here, this goes like less and less. <laughs> And this wall here is getting higher and higher, I swear. <laughs> there we go. That's where he wants it. Let it up a little bit. There we go. Right. Load number seven. So, yes, I'm going to write this out and uh, I'll see you when we leave. Thumbs up. Excellent. We're good to go. Gonna stop. Um, just gonna stop here, put the seat on. Um, I've got paper that needs to be put in that bag, but I can't be bothered. Like, <laughs> I'm coming back here at least once more so I can put them both in then. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Right, let's go deliver load seven. Uh, can we get out of sight ugh, without having to stop for any traffic? And I've, by the way, I've cooled down a little bit since uh, under my window, but uh, I am I am a little bit hot. Yeah, I'm going to pull over a second and uh, uh, hazards. There we go. Just want to take off my uh, hoodie and high vis without stripping completely loose. God's sake! Nobody wants to see that. Nobody, except maybe you. <laughs> Spill that over there. Ooh. That's better. Oh man, that's much better. Woo! That was getting toasty. Yeah, that'd do. That'd do. Oh, hazards. Hazards off. <laughs> right, can we get out without having to stop and people walking in front of me? Clear, 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 clear. Oh, I've just seen on the uh, on Facebook, you know, reputable rep reputable company for news, <laughs> and uh, apparently Silverstone is going to be uh, hosting two Formula One races this year. 
with no fans. So, uh, that'd be good. Well, I mean, bad because there's no fans there, but good that the sport's going to get underway. Here's my collar down. I think my collar was a bit messed up there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the Formula 1 season kicking off. You, if there's no fans there, then, you know, fine. If it's tele televised, rather, then it's better than nothing. I, um, I used to watch a lot of wrestling, like WWE when I was younger. Um, I don't watch it so much now, but I saw, I was listening to a podcast and uh, one of the wrestlers said that they were performing behind closed doors with no crowd. So I googled it, just, just google um, WWE, no crowd. It's so weird. Like they're literally fighting and talking and screaming and shouting, you know, how they normally do and pretending the crowd are there, is there. It's really weird, man. Let's check it out, 100% check it out. Right, let's go get this one off. Let's go and get loaded again. Let's go get that one off. And let's see if we've got to get loaded again. <laughs> okay, here's the deal. We're about to tip off our eighth load of the day. Uh, then we're gonna go back and get one more load. Uh, well, at least one more load, but we'll definitely get the nine done. That was scheduled originally. Now the thing is, uh, there's two there's two drivers which I've caught up with quite a bit. Uh, so much so that they're literally just leaving now. And um, on the last one, on this one I just got loaded, I was waiting uh, for five minutes for the bloke in front to get loaded. So if I go straight there after this, I'm gonna be doing the same. I'm gonna be waiting for at least one of them to get loaded. So. I need AdBlue, so I'm gonna, gonna stop and get AdBlue. Uh, and then go from there. That's the plan anyway. Let's just get this off first. Oh, I haven't done the sheet yet, just forgot. Let's just get into position and then we can do the sheet. That'll do. Right, let's put the sheet up. I can get the PTO on and open the tailgate as well. It's ready in preparation. There we go. Body down. Ugh. Excellent, nice and quiet out here. And there we go, so now we're gonna go back and get our last load, like I said. But before we go and get that, I'm gonna get some ad blue and uh, then we ain't got to wait so long when we get there. So, I will see you when we're there. Okay, right, we're just pulling into sight now for our last load. Oh, one coming out. Cheers, mate. Cheers, buddy. Are you going back for another one, or is that it? Brilliant. All right, mate, see you in a bit. All right, so, as I was saying, as I was saying, we are on our way into Saints. Um, just talking to them on the CB then. Apparently, this is going to be the last one. That's the plan for now. Um... I will know if it's different because because I'm the last one. Uh, on the way to the site where we're tipping, if I see any coming back, then I know they're coming back for another one, in which case I will have to as well. If I don't see any on the way back, it means they've all gone home because home's the other way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm glad I got AdBlue now because if I didn't, I'd be here. And, uh, waiting <laughs> whereas ugh, I'm gonna be pretty much rolling straight on looking at that he's got a few more buckets to go on and then I'll be uh, rolling straight up so I'm gonna get straight behind him 
plenty of room. Oh, so bumpy. <laughs> That's some CV aerial banging around. There we go, so we're just going to wait here for him to move and then we'll uh, get loaded and crack on. Okie dokie, we're loaded. We are loaded. Paperwork is handed in. Just going to put the sheet on. Ticket drivers just asked me if I'm the last one. I said, yeah, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I said, we're all down for nine loads and uh, this is my ninth load and I'm the last one on the run, so I don't think any of us are coming back. So, like I said, we just have to keep an eye out and see if anyone else is coming back or not. He also told me the last time, the last truck I load is at five to four, so that's pushing it for me because it's 10 past three now, so gives me 55 minutes it's about a 45 minute turnaround so like I said could probably do it if, 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 if I see everyone else come back I'll come back no problem because the worst case scenario he just tell me oh, he ain't loading me and then I just drive back you know what I mean <laughs> not a problem so we will see we will see right for now we've got to go and get this tipped off and then uh, we'll be able to tell you guys what's going on see you shortly Right, we're just about to tip off our last load. A couple of the other drivers have had to have their uh, back end scraped. I just realised how wrong that sounds. <laughs> anyway, if we've got to get our scrape, we go in there. The bigger driver up there is going to scrape it off. Uh, but I think it's alright. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. I think it's the Volvo. There's a, there's a JCB and a Volvo up there. Two, two different 360s. So, uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, it off and then we'll take a look see what it looks like it should be all right that'll do Yeah, we're going straight back to the yard from here. So um, it takes about 40 minutes, I think, to get back to the yard. So yeah, we're looking about 10 past four, something like that. Yeah, which won't be too bad. Just want to give a couple of bangs just to make sure any last bits are out. Found it at six minutes twenty seconds faster. Do you yeah. want to take it? The route you found, love, is not taking me where I want to go. So no, thank you. <laughs> right, Ugh. let's just go and uh, check to see if it's clean. It should be. Ugh. Yeah, one of those diggers over there have sought me out. If it isn't, but uh... oh, just got a little bit down there. Look. Very, very small amount. I'll be able to get that out by uh, using a shovel. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do now. We're just going to uh, reverse back. So I'm not blocking the entrance in case anyone does want to come in. And then go grab the shovel. 
Yeah, I've got the shovel, so uh, we'll just lift the body back up and then give it a good clean. <coughs> Alright mates, Luke, um, yeah, I've got a little bit of top sole on the ass end, but what I'll do is I'll just use a shovel and get that off, mate. Cheers, mate. Have a good day. Okay, that's much, 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 much better. If I just show you that. We're just gonna climb on up. There we go. Much better. That will do. It was in uh, that's just what we took out. Just a little bit. It's uh it was just in such an awkward place that the the digger probably wouldn't have been able to reach it because uh, it was right on the back. Anyway, let's just secure our shovel. That's the shovel secure. That ain't gonna go anywhere. Whew. There we go. Let's just turn auto exposure off. Excellent. All right, yeah, we're all good, we're all good. See, that only took us six minutes, according to that. Six minutes of other work. Engine break on, my bad. Uh, and normally what we would do now is uh, hand in our pink slips. But one of the drivers actually uh, took them off me on the way in, so I didn't have to, so that was very kind of him, very kind. So yeah, we've got three hours of drive time left, and we're like less than an hour away, so happy days, happy days. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, do appreciate it, hopefully you've enjoyed it. And uh, I tried to get a bit more of outside footage involved as well, so hopefully, uh, Hopefully that's come across quite well. So yeah, thanks for watching. Stay safe and uh, stay home as well. More importantly, unless you've uh, unless you have to go to work like I do. Otherwise, uh, work from home. Anyway, drive safe, stay safe, stay home. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Jay Randall, Anthony Luck, Leon Porter, Adam Lowe, Anthony Jarvis, Kyle Guildford, Simon Cornwall, Thomas Madison, the English Gamerman, Demetrius Lucasiavis, Flynn Scotsman, Philip Green, Ali Semple, John Barnum, James Hutchins, Emil Imming, Philip O'Donnell, Paul Roberts, Martin Bennett, John Barnes, Tony Sykes, Lee Duffy, Triple H, Stacey Liu, Alex Sawyer, Reese Lane, Jack Forrest, George Brown, Trucker DLW, PRONL, James Roberts, Adrian Money, Luke Sanders, Stephen Mitchell, Jordan Harris, Craig Byers, Jamie Lalliet, Jay Buckle, Andrea and Josh Paget, and James Beeson. Thank you so much for being a champ supporter, it really does mean everything to me and if you want to become one yourself, click the link down below.